Today's video is brought to you by Dr. Phone Toolkit for iOS system recoveries. Whether your iPhone is stuck in recovery mode or a reboot loop, you can go ahead and learn more about the software in the links in the description. You also get a 20% off if you want to try it out today. What's up guys, I Dubai Self here, and today Apple released iOS 11 Beta 4. Now the download was 377 megabytes from iOS 11 Beta 3 to the latest Beta 4. Now it's available for uh, developers, no public beta testers as of yet. I'll let you guys know on Twitter. You can follow me there. I'll let you guys know when that will be available but we got beta 4 today for registered developers and boy there's a lot to talk about so let's jump right into it okay so let's go ahead and take a look at the build number the first thing i always like to do is going to be 15a 5327g that is the current build number for ios 11 beta 4. now i want to take a look at messages because i don't know if this is a glitch or if this is going to be the look for messages here for the media uh, from here on out but as you can see here you have your camera and all your other elements here with your media but you have a space down here where you can go ahead and use it to scroll in ios 11 beta 3 and prior you can see the difference there it is uh it's kind of hard to kind of scroll through this here as you can see i grabbed the image there by accident so i think this might be the actual way Apple is going to be going with for the media on the messages application. All right, so for this next one, you have to take a very close look here in settings. You see the cellular data option there. You see the icon next to it. It is a little different here in beta three. You can see there and now in beta four is that. So from that to this. So that's something that's changed. Look at the notes icon. Take a very close look here. This is beta four. You see the icon has a shadowy effect. This is beta three. You see no shadowy effect on the notes. Look at the reminders application. You see the circle within a circle and it on opposite sides for the colors there. So the circle within a circle is not on beta three and the icons are on the opposite side. You can see they're both in frame. If you can kind of see the focus here on the camera, hopefully there we go. So right there you see the icons are different and also the contacts icon. You see it? It is completely different as well. So minor UI changes, but certainly changes there on the springboard. This next one, you also have to pay very close attention. Take a look here at the low power mode. When I activate it, you see an animation. There you go. Let me do that again. See the animation, boom, just like that. Now, when I go ahead and start to a screen capture or broadcast here, you get a countdown this time around that you didn't get before. And you also get a new UI once it starts recording. You see that bar there? I wasn't there before. So a few elements here on the screen recorder are different. Well, you can't really tap on that. I thought you could, but you have to stop it. And there you go. So a few new elements there as well when it comes to the screen recorder. In the notification center, we also have some key differences here. We can now swipe to the left to view clear. And of course you can 3D touch to clear all, which we couldn't do on a beta three. This is beta three. So you couldn't swipe over and get that menu. You would be taking over to the camera automatically. So you can see there, you can now swipe over to view and then you can just go ahead and tap there and it'll show you what's happening with that notification. Now on the lock screen, I also noticed that when you swipe to the left, you now get a new button that you didn't get before on your widgets page. So let me go to the lock screen here and show you when I swipe over to the left. You see that at the bottom there, we get the uh, press to unlock. Over here, we don't get the press to unlock. Beta 3 doesn't have it. Beta 4 has that new uh, yeah, text there at the bottom of the screen. Now, unfortunately, I don't know for me why this is happening, but in the files application in Beta 3, I used to get the ability to add other files from other places and I can hit edit and I'll turn these on or off. You see there, OSX server, iCloud Drive, my iPhone. On beta four, they kind of took away some of the features. I don't have them. I don't know if this is just my device or let me know in the comments down below if it's working for you. But it, it, beta three actually had more features built into the files app. I don't know if Apple is going to be bringing those back. But again, if it's not working for me, let me know in the comments down below if it is working for you. Let me jump into settings here and show you some very minor UI changes. So first, I want to go ahead and show you that Siri now it just says Siri. It doesn't say Siri plus search. Up here it says Siri plus search on beta three. Now it just says a Siri right there. And of course, the contacts icon here for the extension is also different, uh, just kind of matching what it is on the home screen as well. Now, if I jump into general here, you also see a new option for AirDrop. You don't have that option here on beta three. Beta three, it was just the handoff and the CarPlay option, but now we have the new AirDrop option. So you can manage AirDrop from settings. I don't know why Apple would add that to the to that section there. I really wouldn't see myself using that, but it is a new option in that particular section 
of the settings application. I don't know if you guys ever use Wi-Fi sync with iTunes, but there's a bar here at the bottom that wasn't there before. Here's beta three, here's what it looks like. Let me go ahead and show you the Wi-Fi sync. Uh, the UI has changed. I'm sure a lot of people who don't really use this feature, let me know if you use it at all, the Wi-Fi sync uh, with iTunes for your iOS device. You see the bar there at the bottom, not available in beta three, something just minor. I think it's more of a glitch there in a beta four. So now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the scores. So I'm gonna go ahead and run uh, the test as usual of course it wouldn't be one of my videos if one of these tests was not performed again a beta 3 on the right a beta 4 on the left and we're going to go ahead and run a test and see what the results are i'll be right back all right so beta 4 single core score 3488 multi-core score 5909 that is going to be for beta 4 now look at beta 3 is uh single core score is 3420 and the multi-core score is 5808 so definitely an increase we're moving in the right direction of course stay tuned for the battery test uh beta 3 versus beta 4 that is going to be coming your way here shortly we're going to be testing performance and all that as usual and i hope you guys enjoy the video i'll see you real soon peace